Hey, what's going on? My fellow reefers, Fragbox TV. Today I want to talk to you about my favorite reef tank LED lighting. Okay, I lost count. Somewhere around 50 different types of coral. This is a mixed reef and this is the first time that I've set up a display tank and I haven't used T5. I know, mind blown. I'm a very old school reefer, so every time I set up a tank, I go with T5 lighting, except for the... Why do I do that? Because T5 is tried and tested and true. They're awesome lights. They're designed to grow corals. They do have some drawbacks though. They create a ton of heat. Like if you put your hand here, you can literally feel the heat. They have to be hung off your ceiling, which isn't always practical. They're kind of large and bulky. They take up a lot of electricity and you got to change the bulbs every six months to a year. So the bulb replacement can get quite expensive on these lights. But they grow coral like nothing else. I'm still a huge, huge fan of T5, but LED has come a long way and I'm in love with the hydras I'm using right now. So maybe you're in the market for some LEDs for your tank or some reef tank lighting, and LED is gonna be the way to go, this is the future. It can be quite expensive, and once you buy it, you're kinda of stuck with what you got, so you wanna make sure that you get the best light. So why am I showing you this tank here? These are the Radions, these are the new XR15 G5 Blues, awesome lights, and then here on our frag tanks, we're using an army of G4 Pros. We've been using these for years, also great, great, lights nothing wrong with them it's just this is now six months seven months that i'm using the hydras on this tank and they are hands down my favorite light we're also using them over here on our reefer 170 sps dominated and again on our very expensive nano reef over on this tank and these are my favorite lights let me talk to you why with these lights you're able to keep whatever you want like light will not be an issue for your tank. Look at this thing. I'm keeping, like I said, just about everything. So hard coral, not an issue. And then as you move lower down, LPS, softies, stuff like that. They're very powerful, very, very powerful lights. They make an even more powerful ver version. This is the 32 HD. They also make something called a 60. I think for most people, you don't need this unless your tank is like 24 inches or deeper, maybe 30 inches, you need that penetration. These run 850 bucks here in Canada. This is insane power. This is twice the power of the Hydra 64 LEDs. I don't usually recommend these unless you're gonna go SPS dominated like Acropora crazy. If you're looking for lights for a mixed reef, it's up to 24 inches deep, more than enough power, and they're compact. Like these on this tank, we're running these diffusers, which I'm still unsure of, but they're really small. And they're, it's cool because they come in both black and white. This is the light here without the diffuser in black, and it looks really sleek. Like if your stand is black and you're running the black light, it looks really nice, ties in together nicely. So their form factor, they're really easy to install. They have a couple different options so you can hang them from your ceiling. We've done a kind of weird setup here to kind of showcase both. So you can go off uh, your glass and you could go this way and then add another bar or you could do both of them off the ceiling. We're just doing it this way to kind of show people the different options for hanging them. And then they even have one more option which is this Hydra flex mount. So in terms of mounting, these guys have the most options, most versatility out of any LEDs on the market today. You can see there, it's kind of like a gooseneck, similar to what Kessel offers with their lights. It's very common to use the gooseneck fixture. They come with a one year warranty and they come with built in Wi Fi. So they're used off, sorry, uh, let me correct myself, Bluetooth. So you can control them off an app on your phone or tablet. And it's so incredibly, incredibly easy to use, easy to connect, and easy to program. It's very, very user friendly. And I think that's where Hydra has the slight edge over the Radeon. So they just came out with their Mobius, which is really improved over the ReefLink. I hated that thing. I think I've smashed a few against the wall. Mobius is a lot better, but I've, I'm using both here in the store. So I can tell you from personal experience that the app is easier to use, easier to connect, less trouble than um, the Hydra app versus the Ecotech app. The spread is phenomenal. So you can see on this tank, it's about 48 inches. You're gonna need one light for every 24 by 24 inch footprint. So every 24 inches or two feet uh, is one light. So if I had a six foot tank, you're gonna need three of them. And they're good for 24 inches in depth, but the coverage is very close to T5. That's why I'm really impressed with these. Okay, so finally, probably the most important part of this light is gonna be the price. So they are not 
cheap. They're not crazy expensive, but they're also not inexpensive. Um, they run $4.99, 500 bucks Canadian. So about 400 if you're watching in the United States. But if you're going to spend the money, I always say, if you're going to spend the money anywhere on your reef tank, you spend it on the lights. Don't cheap out on the lights. You can go a little bit cheaper on the wave makers because at the end of the day, they all move water. Protein skimmers, end of the day, they all make bubbles. Return pumps, more or less the same. You know, in terms of reliability, some are different. But when it comes to lights, if you're going to spend it, spend it on the lights because when you spend it on the lights, and you get a good light like this one, well, in my opinion, it's the best light, you're gonna have a much better tank. You're just gonna get better results out of the corals. You're gonna enjoy the hobby more. These things are awesome. I can't say enough good things about them. Radeon's also great, great light, but just from my experience, you put them up against each other. Like, it's, uh, the app is really what, what wins in, in my books, and the corals just look fantastic. So this is coming up on, I think it's six months now, and like I said, first time, I'm using LED on a display tank and I'm super, super impressed. I'm really happy I went with these and I didn't do what I just normally do and uh, tack some T5 with reef brights on because I know those work and they're tried and tested. But for LED, this is my first experience and I couldn't have been happier and the proof's in the pudding. If you're checking out the corals in this video, everything's growing. Everything's really, really happy. Color's phenomenal. Uh, very impressed. All around great light. Can't say enough good things. If you're thinking about upgrading or you're starting in the hobby, look for this company, Aqua Illumination. They also make a smaller version called a Prime, and that's great for smaller tanks. We have one running here and then another one running on TS Fluval 13.5. It's essentially the same as the Hydra, except instead of two pucks of LEDs, you get one. So it's about half the power. So depending on the size of your tank and what you're looking to keep, these may be more suitable for your reef keeping needs. That's it for today's video, guys. Just want to share my six month update experience with these lights. Couldn't be happier. If you guys got any questions about these lights, you're probably wondering how we program them. Maybe you have the lights or you're just looking to, or you're interested in how we're running them. I have another video that I'm gonna link in the description of this one, and it shows you exactly how we've programmed them on the app. So you can go ahead and replicate if you like the look. It's a little bit whiter um, in person. I like it a little whiter. I find that it shows off the colors of the fish and the corals a little more honestly. Um, the blue's cool too, but it kind of gives you that fake sort of blue look. Some people like it, up to you, so you can play with it. That's one of the nice features. But I'll link that in the description of this video so that you can see exactly how we're running it. If you guys got any questions about reef tanks, about the lights here, anything salt water related, please feel free to hit us up in the comments below or I'll leave our email at the end of the video so you guys can get in touch with us. Thank you very much for watching.